Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to share this technique that you may not be familiar with. It's called hydro dipping. Um, I wanna use this on this particular piece that I did in my last um, Dollar Tree project. Uh, if you look, I'll put the link at the top in case you want to see how to make it. But this is the Marble Jack sculpture that I saw on All Modern and it was $107 and I recreated it for six dollars using dollar tree supplies and this is where it, what it turned out to look like um i just stopped here and made it black because i was trying to be safe so when i looked in the comment section of that video i saw that people had an interest in seeing how to marbleize that so let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do it Depending on the size of the object that you're going to use for this project depends on how big your bucket or container should be. The first thing that I'm going to do is just add water in the bucket. I'm going to add it about halfway up. So what you want to do is add your favorite color spray paints into the water. So I'm just going to use a white primer and a metallic gold as well as a gray, which I'll probably show a little bit later. So you wanna do this kinda of fast. So I'm just gonna spray in the white, the gold, and then a little bit of gray. And if you have any other colors that you would like to add in there, you just go ahead and do it, but do it quick. So if you have any leftover spray paint from a project, this is a good one to use it on. Next, we're going to mix up the paint by using a metal stick or a silicone stick. I have not used a plastic stick, but I heard that it's not good to use. Oh wait, let me add just a little bit more gold. With your gloves on, dip your object into the water and slowly take it out. For this one, I just wanted to dip it in halfway, but you can try to do it all the way depending on the size of your object. Before I add new spray paint in the bucket, I am going to clean the water by using my straw. The old paint will stick to the straw and all you need to do is simply um, take a paper towel and just wipe it off. Now I'm ready to dip the other side of the piece and I'm going to add spray paint in there again using the same colors as I did before. Then I'm going to stir it up and then dip my object in there. Once you are finished, all you want to do is pat the object down, you know, to get rid of that excess water and just let it dry for a couple of minutes. Depending on the type of object you submerge in water depends on how long you need to let it dry. So I decided since I got everything out, I'm just going to try a couple of different colors and submerge a different object in there. This particular object is the um, pyramid lamp that I've done in the past. It's made with epoxy. Um, and I'll put the link at the top if you would like to see how to create that. The colors that I use is a metallic silver, a metallic gold, and a metallic rose gold. Okay, here we go. And did you know you can pretty much do this with any object? I've seen people do it with shoes, canvases, um, ornaments, you name it. Once your object has dried, you want to follow up and spray it with a clear protective spray paint. And um, I use a matte spray paint, but if you want a glossy finish, there is a glossy version of this. Once it dried, here's how it turned out. On the left side is how it looked before, and on the right side is what it looks like now. And I absolutely love it. Please like this video if you are planning to try this method. If you wanna see how it looks all the way around the object, here is a look at that. Okay, and I wanna show you what the lamp looks like, which is really cool. To me, it looks like it's lava running down.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that the information that I shared was very helpful. Just let me know in the comment section below what uh, information you would like to see next or in a future video and uh, just give me your feedback. I look forward to talking to you next time. Have a great week.